is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your very first time joining me my name is Jessica I'm a mother as well as a makeup lover of course so we're just gonna um ignore my child dead ass asleep right there um if I move him he'll wake up <laughs> those aren't the vibes we're letting him sleep also so I you know want to straighten my bangs after I got done doing my makeup one of my kiddos turned my straightener up to 500 and I didn't realize it because usually I keep it at like 200 like you know like lower and I did it and I'm like it smelled like burning and I was like what the fuck like why is this like why is it burning like I never keep it that high and I looked it was at 500 I was like oh my god literally just roasted the shit out of my bangs right now <laughs> so for today's video I'm going to be doing this kind of green and gold makeup look um I am only gonna be doing my eyes in today's video but I think that my face makeup came out really really good today i'll be sure to leave my face products down below if you are curious about what i use to achieve this look um other than that i am going to be just focusing on my eyes today per the usual so yeah if you're curious to see how i got this gorgeous gorgeous makeup look then please do keep on watching My palette of choice today is going to be the Ace Beauté Floral Vintage Palette, and she looks like this. Of course, I'm going to be taking the greens out of the palette. So the first shade I'm going to take is this dark green right here, which is called Tansy, which is kind of like a foresty green color. Um, and I also want to mention, too, that I did prime all the way to my temple, so that way I could really blow this out, because we're going for like a smoky eye. Okay. So I'm going to start by packing this down in a V shape. And I'm also going to bring it up for like a cut crease moment. So I'm just going to pack this down. And then I'll just kind of lightly swirl around the edges to start softening them up. Okay, so now I'm going to take this doe color brush, which is very nice, round and fluffy. So I'm going to use this brush, and I'm going to go into this light green, which is called Dahlia. So I'm just going to go straight into little circle motions right over the edge of this green shadow. Just to start buffing it out. beautiful that's really beautiful um so if i get a little crazy with it i'll just take a clean brush and very lightly go over the edges and then now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just keep going through those same colors the clean brush and just until i have a nice super flared out blend okay i really like the way that that looks i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to take um i'm just going to take another little brush um, so this one's fluffy. It's going to work just great for what we're doing. I'm going to take the black, which is called Black Hyacinth. So it's literally just the black right under the green. Hyacinth. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm just going to take a little bit of this. And I'm just going to put it down in my like outer corner and crease. Just to give a little bit more depth because I want it to be super dark and like grungy and then I'll go back into the green just make sure that everything blends nice and seamless like I think I'll go ahead and take the blank canvas and lay that down um, because I am just going to layer some colors on top of it and I've actually been really liking the way the blank canvas has been 
uh, like grabbing onto my lid products. So yeah, let me go ahead and catch this eye up and then I'll come back with my cut crease all prepared. Okay, so my cut crease is on and I just topped out the edges with my finger to kind of melt the, the edges together. Um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back into the shade Tansy, which is the green shade. Because I did take this a little bit further than I had originally intended to do. So I'm just going to add some color back into this. Ugh, what am I going to do with my hair? Um, my hair is always so like frizzy and like flyaway and it's so annoying. I never know what to do with my hair. Anyways, so I'm just going to tap this in the outer corner. So this pigment is like green and gold together. So the specific gold. I'm going to take the King Beauty You're So Chic palette. And the reason why I'm going to take this is because I am going to go in with the glitter. So I originally had it out. So I decided to use um, a gold and a green from this palette. So I'm going to take this gold here and I'm also gonna take let's see I'm gonna take this dark green here so that's what they look like look girl ma'am ma'am so I'll put the green right here I'm just tapping it in this was one swipe this was one swipe guys okay so do like that and then with the gold I'll just go ahead and tap it down and then after I get the majority of my lid covered I'll go in with a tinier brush to really get close get up in there I have to say I am pleasantly surprised about the quality of the shimmers in this palette so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this peaches and cream pigment in the shade rattlesnake and I'm just going to lay it over the top of this. Usually I would take the glitter base but I actually think I'm just going to go right in with my finger. really make this my beach okay so now out of the same King Beauty palette I'm gonna take this kind of blue and green shimmer and of course my duo lash glue So, you guys are never going to believe this. So I had the, I had the Ingla Duraline. My kid dumped it out. So I filled the bottle up with some of the Mayron mixing stuff. Like mixing liquid. And so I'm going to use that to make this into a liner consistency. And just draw my draw my little half wing here I'm gonna need more than that and then I'm just gonna take the black shadow um, and I'll just take it on an angled brush set this down so the difference between the Mayron mixing medium and the Inglot Duraline stuff is that the Inglot Duraline stuff is oil based so it would it's meant to go with this, right? So the the Mayron mixing liquid is water-based. So it kind of made this kind of like a satin finish. Um, but if I were to have used the Inglot Duraline, it would have made it a matte finish. Like it's meant to be. So we're going to set it to give it that matte effect. 
Fake it till you make it. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> so, my kid's sleeping behind me, so I'm going to try to be a bit quieter than I usually do. Um, just because I don't want him to wake up just yet. Let me finish filming. So, I just went ahead and I did my face makeup. So instead of using a regular setting powder, I actually set my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear. So I just went in and I put all my cream products down and then I set with this. And it does, it, it like added like so much coverage. I want to see like if it's going to look cakey. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep this on for like a couple of hours and I'll leave it in the comment, comment or the description box. I was going to say the comment box. <laughs> um, I'll leave in the description box if it ended up looking cakey after a couple of hours but my skin looks so so smooth i'm gonna take a small um flat brush and i'll take the shade tansy and i'm just gonna go ahead and bring that all under my eyes i love this shape I think it's just so sexy. Then I'm going to take a more fluffy but still dense brush, taking the shade Dahlia, which is the lighter green. And I'll just go right over that. I'm going to take um, a black liner pencil. I'm going to look up. I'm just gonna add this to my waterline. Oops. Look at the difference. Just... Um, my lash choice today is going to be these ones. I believe these are possibly Kiss lashes. I got them at my local beauty supply store, but these are what they look like. In case you're wondering, um, I, I should have kept the outer box, but I didn't. Okay, so here is the completed look. Um, my lip combo, I just went in with the Nobby Lip Liner in medium brown. And then I went in with the, this is the mini from the Bomb Cosmetics, the Meet Matte Hues, and this one's in the shade Generous. And then I just put this Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Amber on top. Just, I feel like it all is like a very similar color. These are the vibes. I'm feeling very uh, Poison Ivy vibes, definitely. Um, I wish I had like a more lime, like a, like a lighter green shirt like this because I think that that would have been so cute because this shirt's a little bit more like a uh, khaki color, you know what I mean? See my, my son still passed out. Isn't it cute with a little butt in the air? Anyways, um, so that is going to complete today's video. Um, if you are curious about my face products, I will be sure to leave them down in the description box below. And of course, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like me and if you like my content. And without further ado, we're going to go right on ahead. Roll the clip. Thank you.